Beautiful ignited souls, we are ready for a new creation. Beautiful ignited souls, we are going to explore the number 10. We are on the 10th day of the year, and this is where we are going to use numerology and spirituality, the wisdom that has been hidden in plain sight, to help equip ourselves from one dimension into the other. Because, of course, this is necessary. It's, um, it's the great awakening now that we have been called to act or to be or to have and to understand basically who am I this is the know thyself time it is important that we know this we hear of lots of different um, people are shifting um, their ideas their ideologies their careers and everything like that but here we are also feeling in all of this is that when we have the tool or the language of numerology and spirituality it helps us to find that path or help us to maintain the path that we are are meant to be on this fifth dimension and how to be grounded so I hope that you will find something to empower you or to help you in this great awakening of your own spiritual path so let's get ignited and of course let's break the law of silence with a cup of tea okay cup of tea because copper is like the police you know um, copper tea, capturing the tea. Now, tea is actually eight. The new, I have, you know, I say we are talking about number 10, but of course, because they ate, the woman ate and gave to her husband and he did eat as well. So we are all in this pickle, if you like. And so we can't avoid it. Mm. So let's look at 10 because, yes, I'm going to invite the gods, the 14 gods, which we are the embodiment of, to um, guide us here because, um, of course, they are um, within us. And, of course, because we are made of codes, if you like, I like to say that you are the body Bible. You are a Bible or mobile Bible, whichever way you want to see it. It really means that every letter of the Bible or punctuation mark is within you and your action your words and everything reverberates or energize that code and of course it becomes it is to get it becoming okay so here we are looking at number 10 but first of all we are going to look at monday Okay, so Monday is actually the moon day, we could say that, because it's, again, it carries all the characteristics of the moon, if you like, all the energies, all the cycles, and of course we know that the moon is like, it stays in a birth sign about two and a half days or so, but there is moons on top of moons, there are cycles on top of cycles. So let's look at that, which is six um, sorry, this is four because I'm counting ahead. Six, four, five, four, one, seven. Adding this together, this is 10, 19, 20, 27. Okay, so we have been taught that to actually look at the, to see the seed and all the characteristics of what the letters it's like you have a letter, but it's got, of course, lots of letters in there. You receive a letter in the post or online, but it's got lots of other letters. And so this formula shows us a little bit more about what this Monday consists. Of course, adding 2 plus 7 gives us 9 for 1 which tells us about nine months of birthday nine is that number of completion but it's also a number of beginnings where there is completion there is new beginning because that's what it's about the cycles everything is it just goes on just like we have nine life cycles in numerology we are taught this and so you can check this out if you're new to this Okay, so let's see about um, 2. So this is how we are taught to look at this. 2 equals 13, which of course is um, the pinnacle or if you could say the emblem of the Last Supper. Jesus with his disciples at the Last Supper. 
13, I have done a lot on the number 13, like showing it's the construct of B, the letter B. As though they, they were asleep. It's like four people um, this uh, together and they decided, oh, you know, there's one of us. There's always some ganging on one, you know, and having that one, that one separate. So you could say the 11 of... Um, the other 11 disciples that were re that remained if you like of course let's not go too deep into this because i really want to stick to this but um here we have one plus three is four i have done lots of videos on this you can go through um the playlist or the videos and you will get a lot to actually um of course you a lot of deliciousness to immerse yourself who comes to even things up <laughs> is 20 and of course 20 is 2 and we add this together gives us 6 of course if we did a numerical value for the word 9 here n-i-n-e this would be 24 2 plus 4 is 6 so we can see how they actually both 6 it's like the f um, 6 days of the week if you like or we have Monday and whatever it carries the whole it's as if it's the mother of the other days so um, let's leave this here and um, for now and um, so we know that we have six for Monday let's add this up the date which is six here again I have done a lot on the first video that I recorded for this year on showing how all these tools they carry an emblem of death as or sacrifice, just as in 13. 2 is 13. So we can see that there's always a seed that was in the ground, if you like. The number 2 is like down. It's like a road. It's like um, rock. It has all those elements. It's foundational. And so we have this in a triple um, vibration or energetic vibration here and so this is why I feel that this year is really a year for planting and birthing all of our impregnation right here so 6 plus 1 of course is um, 7 plus 1 8 now again as I say this is the number that did put us in all of this kind of thing if you like it's like um Adam, the um, the um, Adam, the uh, the command given to Adam. Adam actually equals ten. So there we are talking about the. It, it was said the first man. Of course, Eve is that which was before, but. People are not look considering Eve as the Eve of any event that takes place according to the definition definition in the dictionary so anyway let's not go too much into this but this is saying that there is a seed so basically we have the mother which you we have been told uh, that's not really but it was Eve Eve was the mother of all living and actually Adam tells tells you I name her Eve because she's the mother of all living okay so that means he is living as well so that is his mother as well so there's some um, it sounds like some kind of incest going on but let's not get too wrapped up in this and so we have like um, the woman you this is why you see two creations there was the woman and there's Eve and there's the serpent and all of those but of course Eve is the mother of all living the woman the serpent Adam and everything so this is why it's important we get our act or understanding about our mothers so we don't grow with all this resentment about mother okay but 10 for instance um let's just give some examples of 10 here for instance the first um the magic that happened in genesis of chapter 1 verse uh, 2 no verse 3 the first letter which is here this is it let there be light that magic that happened right here that spell that was cast in words and say let there be light and there was light which comes to six 
of course, six. This is the mother. This is where we are. Hair that encapsulates all this. We are asking to or being asked to bring the light out because there is, oh, you know, be active in unearthing. It's like you plant something, but when you are digging the soil, other things come up. Okay, so find a light. And so let, the word let equals 10, the L-E-T. This is three, five, two. This equals 10. This is, this tells us about, of course, and when we do the numerical value for the word 10, you'll see the correlation, 10 equals 12. 1 plus 2 is 3, of course. So we can see here how um, 3 is actually um, the W, it is the M, like for, for the breast, it is the, it is the W, U and I, let's, let's just do this it is w it is e it is free or oh, this is free this is e this is m it is we can do this <laughs> it is m it is i'm trying to remember how three is then it is free it is e and it is w and it becomes your eight petal flower this is what is meant by the eight and this is why we have in T. And this is all of this equals 8. Of course, we have the same numerical value right here. So in on this 10th day of the, of the year, literally on this 10th day of the year, provides us an opportunity to plant or a new template or have a new template the numbers in fact for the start of the year the first day of the year we had this number eight showed up as well which was of course one one two 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 so the there we are repeating this which tells us about almost like um china um and Buddhism, they both equal eight. And almost like something broke out of China. I keep repeating this to show the magnitude of they at. And that's why, of course, we know that China, they revere um, the number eight um, because they of course, in numerology, seem to understand that, you know, the cycles on top of cycles, even if something breaks out, you know, they're about um, mending and doing whatever experiments, whatever it is. In fact, I understand today, in fact, I saw a video, don't know how true it is yet, which I've got to check it out, but they have had a artificial sun. They have been able to able to assimilate an artificial sun the word sun equals free i think or oh, s-o-n one of them s-u-n so this is eight nine nine so there which encompasses all a new beginning so an artificial sun can you imagine people so okay so that's the power of it they eat so of course adam and eve or the woman and his wife they eat and of course you can see according to the story we are still digesting processing trying to assimilate or understand the what what happened we are saying that every religion everyone's asking well how is it that you know two people oh, they, you know they broke god's word god equals eight they broke god's command and of course this is why god said behold a man shall be like the, they are like us of course the word eight equals 31 which is us three plus one that's why we are united souls people okay so let's look at another thing just to give you more about it is that the first verse of the bible again you are the bible and that really actually means that you can tap into the bible as an external representation of who you are 
ignite the codes of course your language with the universe your intuitive knowing helps you to do that in accordance with what you are meant to do be or have so of course you say universe because universe equals 41 and you are five you know your five senses your five fingers all these um, like tags or labels are on you to remind you of who you are but instead we have been looking too far people instead of looking within this is why uh, we are being occupied with all kinds of food to break down the eight but we are forgetting about what encapsulates the eight is the mouth right here or the eight the word I equals eight and this is why God um, Christ Jesus is teaching gives you a lot about saying if thy eye be single thy whole body will be light of course light equals 11 and I have showed the power of 11 is 1 1 when you do 1 1 is 7 plus 7 adding 7 plus 7 together is 14 just like the generations of Jesus Christ or the mirror of the word um, uh, numerical vibration of universe for instance which is 41 1 plus 4 is 5 that's the key the word key equals 5 14 1 plus 4 5 so this is why we have 14 um, verbatim gods to help us understand who we are so in the first verse of the bible reflecting back telling you of especially showing how adam you could say is uh, the father if you like or the seed representing Adam is representing actually the polarities this is why it is said that God took a rib out of his uh, from Adam and so on but it's showing Adam and I'm going to just give a you know give some examples here one four one four this is showing the pattern of who we are people and of course it's not just looking from this fourth dimension we see this one plus five just like eve e v e is five four five is fourteen one plus four is five which again we see that that also equals Christ the word Christ equals five so even if it came in 30 32 which is again a mirror of life life is 23 the 23 vertebra so all of those for instance are the internal representations in here showing us the external like we could say universe when we think of universe we think of the and do the numerical value of 41 for instance but actually it's mirroring the 14 that we are the two creations the two serpents which are given to us as the caduceus like your like your medicine you see the two serpents sometimes they do they have one one serpent and a rod which may also be like the dollar sign or whatever it is but you see this okay and okay or you may see um see this this is the two serpents but Whichever way you want to look at it, this actually means serpent, S-E-R-P-E-N-T, actually equals 34, 34, 3 plus 4 is 7. 7, of course, is the tell, tells us. This is a different language, people, that it's important that we learn this because when we don't learn this those who know about it they speak to you you we pretend we understand or we feel we have no choice than to buy into the 59p or one pound 59 pence for something whereas they are actually tapping into the 14 59 is 14 in the 14 gods that you are you are just being a respondent instead of being a creator okay so two serpents of course seven plus seven is fourteen 
back to um, 10 we are going to explore 10 as i say it is the 10 letters of the first verse of the bible now the 10th um word let's see the 10th word is actually oath so the first verse for instance says in the beginning god created what People will have to go through that letter again. There's so much to say on this. And I try to keep this short. But God created heaven. H-E-A-V-H-E-H-E-A. Yes. V-E-N. Okay. Again, we have um, Eve is also in heaven. Which we, this, this is saying that, of course, that there is that relationship. 28, I think this is. This is 10, 15, 20, 28. 2 plus 8 is 10. So, here we see heaven and we also see earth. E-A-R-T-H. The earth is in you. The earth is the heart, which is taking the H here and putting it here. H-E-A-R-T. That's you. There we have the the representations people L let's look at this because earth in in actual fact this would be one so we are saying 10 we have seen how 10 births one the not hair shows you the womb it shows you the nothing this is why it is said we all come out of nothing so we could look at one but one when we do the numerical value for earth for instance it gives us seven if we do the numerical value for the word seven, or sorry, one here, one, or N E, it also gives us seven. So just to show people that there is a synchronicity, a language that we need to be able to, um, to, to begin to tap into for our highest good and for awakening the codes within us to saving our souls. That's what Jesus was about. Every man should, should save himself. Be, you know, um, the salvation, the word salvation equals five. And you are that. It was just a path opening up to show us how to do this. Okay, so um, adding this together, of course, heaven and earth together gives us eight. Or if you wanted to say 18, 10 plus 7 is 17, 1 plus 7 is 8. Because, and this is how we say, of course, that is God. Because God is 17. But, of course, we also know that all of this is given to us as what we call a lie in the sense, because the word lie also equals 17 and is 8. Now, I always say, this is the lie. This is why we call it the symbol of infinity that encapsulates all there is. And we are the instruments or the worms or the germs or the um, avatars, whatever you want to see yourself as, to reverberate the energy so it's no longer a lie but it becomes a life. This is what we are meant to become alive, L-I-V-E, but we see that we will then have added this five, the numerical value of four and one. This is the 14. We need to reverberate the 14 gods within us to become alive. And that's what happened with the two serpents in the Garden of Eden or the two creations. These are two creations, people. Okay, now there's so much. I want to share the deliciousness with you. If these are two, you know, let me know how these are resonating with you. Are, they, are you getting it? Am I going to a too fast a pace? Or um, are you wanting more? Or just let me know because I know this is deep, people. But I do this because I'm also growing and also knowing that we need to equip ourselves for the world that we are in right now okay so we have covered the first verse of the Bible which has ten um, ten letters ten words rather ten words and that tells us the power of ten now the first word of the Bible if I'm correct that actually consists of the numerical vibration I think it might be is darkness because this is where it is said everything came out of darkness D A R 
K N E double S. Of course, this is 10, 14, um, 24, 28. Same as darkness and heaven is has the same numerical value, 28. And this is 10. So no wonder they said, and darkness and the light came out of the dark. Now we have done, we have showed how um, light, L-I-G-H-T, L-I-G-H-T comes out of 10, which is 11, of course. That's you and I as well, coming as the Jesus. That's what 10 has birthed. This is the Zivag, according to the, um, the Zohar. They, of course, got together the numbers, the one and the not, got together, Adam and Eve, or the two came together, did their Zivag, and of course, came with 11, which we all are as Jesus equals 11 and they came because doing that getting together or forming like a nine if you like when they got stuck together like a sperm cell whatever it is they became equal or they um, represented your north south east west they became the four corners of the house, the pillars, the four seasons, the four elements, the four everything became, and that's how light came about. Okay, so we have seen darkness, and darkness actually comes at the 20th word. So that means, of course, um, 10 plus 10 if you like, but we won't go too much into this, but 10 plus 10 is 20, but it comes as the 20th word. It means that, again, darkness here, that death aspect that we've been talking about, there will still be a lot of darkness that we are working with and we have to contend with in this year, in this 2022. There's still a lot of this that we have to do. Um, work with but equally we need to work with it to be able to see the light which also equals two which also equals two so we can have this see the um, balance of polarities right here that's four okay and this is what jesus was about right there get in balance as in black and white black equals 11 white equals 11 and this is what they have tried to, let's not go into this, just check the videos on black and white on Crime Queen, you'll be amazed. <laughs> okay, now another thing with um, hair, we have seen that the magic of 10 actually births, it actually births 3. It actually births 3. 3 is like your W, your W, your M your three, your E, and your W. And this is the eight petal flower. Again, representing the number eight, which is infinite eight. It's the tea break. We are ready, people. Got your tea break. We are ready to just, you know, get on, get on board, get on board. <laughs> okay, so let's look at 10 here, T-E-N. And of course, this is what we do here with 10 because 10 has its, it is perfect in its sense of um, polarities, the seed, the masculine, the feminine, the opposites, the, um, you know, all the correlations, everything is there in 10. Final cards. Okay. So we have 255, five, of course. Showing us the fives here is like saying the Adam and Eve, they both have that key. It's 12. It is the 12 zodiac signs, the 12 hours of the day, the 12 um, hours of the night, the 12 months of the year. All 12 that you can find, the 12 disciples, all of this is happening here. Speaking of the 12 disciples, of course, with Jesus, made 13 at the table which would be representing hair as in two. Now, I think I have mentioned that, but please check on the um, whatever links I put on there. You could be, feel free to check them out and you will see um, for yourself. <laughs> and of course, one plus two is three. 
And this is why it says that Jesus, of course, came to set the captives free. Oh, we are free. But again, I have showed you that is the W. We are the number three is like a link. It's like um, it, it is the handcuff. It can release it. Release it can hold on. It, it is that number that is also freedom. So whether it is stating that you have freedom or you are wanting to be free, but it does represent freedom. Now, of course, in its glad rags as the word three, it will show you that it's ready or able to birth two. That's how it continues to create more. Okay. And of course, if you're thinking as in single digits, there's always a buffing. Something is always being hidden. I just want to give you a few um, things about 10. So the called God, for instance, C A L L E D. Remember, people, in the scriptures, when um, the man and the woman ate and they talk about and they hid themselves, they hid. I think hid, the hid, I think is that's the word that was used, which was also 17. That would be 9. Um, have I checked this right? No. Um, this is um, 8, 8, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So that would also be free. That means they became free or they found a W. That's what W is about with the numerical value of 5. They found the key. They found, they found the anchor. They anchored onto each other. They found the pyramid. They found the, um, the kundalini. All of those things were right there in this, in this story. Okay, so the God called, and um, that equals 19, 4, 12, um, 19, that's 19. Of course, 1 plus 9 is 10. That's the called God. So that's when God called them. And that's what... Uh, again, we had the number 10 repeated uh, everything that God created. Adam named them or called it by its name or whatever. He named or called, but the word call actually is, is 10. And so we see that that God was being available to sow in more seeds. And of course, by putting them in the east of the garden or, or, or whether, wherever they were, of course, east is nine. And that's saying about birthing as well. So we can see that here in this um, story, giving you an example of number 10, I think is very important. So um, let's just look at the, like the, what is 10 actually really birthing? Let's look at that here. And since we have given you a few examples of 10, let's look at um, 10 as in one and not. And there that the one, which equals 16. Now I continue to show this because 16 births a lot or has the ability to birth a lot after its kind with the same formula we are using here in any deep, double digit numbers so your first double digit number we work with so this also gives you one o n e which also gives repeats itself so you can see like the cell birth or it breaks and here is seven this so this is seven and not an o t of course we are seeing we have six letters here right here I don't think I hadn't pointed this out before. Not is actually 13 equals 4. Adding this together gives us 11. We have seen 11 already, haven't we, people? And so 11 is your 1, 1, which equals 7. 7. And of course, 7 plus 7 is 14. And that's how we have the 14 golds within us. And we Hey, hey, uh, asking to reverberate, re-energize, reinstate, reignite all of those elements within us to come alive. Because that's the key to understanding who we are. Know thyself, of course. 
And for that, we are given, speaking of number eight, because the numerical value of the word for the, for the energy here is actually eight. And for that, it's really saying to us with this eight that we are, is that you are infinite. You are the, here, here we have the E-I-G-H-T equals 31. Of course, this is the same numerical value as the word garden, G-A-R-D-E-N, which is where the whole story began, which is 554917. This is 10, 20, and 31. And that was the same as the word father. So, of course, equals four. And what was it like? Of course, Jesus had not realized that when he did three plus one, um, on the on the cross doing this that he was father and this is why Christianity tell you that he's also the father he's also the son he's also all of that and he said that father father why hast thou forsaken me calling father twice was actually forming eight right here it's all about eight it's all about Abraham et, and all about food, and all about it, or et, or tea. Here now, in modern times, we are about tea break. Okay, so I'll just give you a few um, things about 10. Okay, so we have seen how Monday, we had Monday was actually 9. Of course, 9 adding all this together, which is 10. We keep the 10 as 10, and we have 1, we have 7, and we have 9. So we have, this is 16, and this is 1 plus 1. This is how I do old school. 26 is like the 26 letters of the alphabet right here. Adding this together gives us 8. So, I think we deserve to have a tea break. Mm. Okay, so it's about having this eight and they eight. So I feel all the message here is about um, paying attention to what you eat because you are what you eat. And of course, understanding the construct or the process of eating is that it is within, I've got to show you this. Again, it is within, without. There's always a part hidden. It's actually a process that we, that we can tap into or have rituals around. This is why Hinduism, they have rituals with food. We hadn't understood all of this. And yes, we talk about um, they're giving food to idols or anything like that. And some of them may not even fully understand the significance of what they do. Because again, there's always a set of people who, with the word set, who are ready to suppress, to keep down, to plant, to have that death. But it, even that itself has its, its purpose. For you to want for yourself enough and this, to have enough desire to understand who you are because that desire cons is, constitutes discovering who you are as well. So this is the bow tie. I call it the bow tie. So this is the ground. This is what you have planted here. This is the knot. And the knot, this is it. It equals 13. And of course, Jesus died. There was 12 left. But not only that, we understood that Judas hanged himself. So that meant there was 11. And that, that 11 is always representing what we are. We come into being 11. This is the story we need to know. 11, E-L-E-V-E-N, the 9, which gives us 9. This is, this is who, who we are. This is what it's about, people. It's about um, understanding, again, I was going to say the process of eat uh, or tea. If you just check, for instance, a cup of tea, the, the tea, of course, of course it, it gets grounded, um, planted, 
whether it was um, rosemary, whatever it is, rosemary tea is not, or lemon and ginger, whichever one it is, it is, it first deals with the ground, which is why we say father. So the ground level, you uh, it consists of the same, if you like, almost the same thing as when you eat. So within, so without. So in the ground is an expression or um, illustration of what we do. It's like worlds on top of worlds. So you dig the ground, you dig the ground, you put the seed in, you of course you don't there there's stones or whatever it is, you your hand is in the in the earth, whatever it is that you that it consists, it consists of nurturing, um taking the weeds and everything, uh, meaning um pruning and all of those things to have a healthy tree. Likewise, we need to prune ourselves of all habits and things like that and so on. And we do this as the external garden, if you like. But also we need to be mindful of what we are putting in as the seed that is going to birth newness. But all of this is the representation, again, of the codes or the word that we are. So I hope you get this. There's so much more to this. But you, all I can say, please like and subscribe and share the videos. Continue to watch them and the penny will drop. It sure will. You might get a pound. <laughs> Stay ignited.